Hi there and welcome to the Babra Young channel. Now some time ago I actually made a shirt dress and I said that if I made it again I would actually do a video on how I came to bring that um, shirt dress together. So this is that video. Now the shirt dress which I shall put a picture in so you can see that um, was an idea that came out of doing another shirt dress actually this one this shirt dress the initial idea of it was um, from the quick sew pattern 3 treble 5 which uh, which is a great shirt dress if you haven't seen that I've made that shirt so many times um, it's a real favorite of mine but I decided at the time that I could possibly turn that into a shirt dress and I did which I, I say it's th is this one but then there was another pattern that I've got and I thought hmm, that'll be workable into a shirt dress as well which is what I did um, so this is about that particular shirt dress which is actually based on the new look 6941 top that one now this shirt was one that I did in a blue chambray um, originally and it came out real nice and I liked it um, and I thought yeah having done this shirt dress I thought this would lend itself very well to to doing that to doing a shirt dress so having done it once I thought yeah I'll, I'll make it again because I do like it's a really nice shirt dress with short sleeved and um, I was looking at my fabric thinking well how can I make that what can I make it out of well I went and got some more of this stuff um, this is um, it's called mustard the colour with monsters all over it and it's a brilliant material it's 100% cotton and it is a I think it's, it's a lot, an organic I can't see the, the thing for it but yeah I'm sure it's a, an organic um, it's an Ocatex uh, um, certified so it is a very very nice um, fabric and that's what I'm going to be making it out of so I think what I need to do first of all is go over the pattern for the shirt and then have a look at what I'm changing and then I suppose make it and tell you about the changes I'm doing as I go along so let's get and have a look at it and see what I'm doing so this is the my original pattern um, that I cut out to make this shirt when I first did it um, sorry for any crinkling I'll try to keep it to a minimum because um, I always trace out all my patterns so I've got a traced copy we have basically a front is this the front yeah we have a front and then we have a side front which has got a bit of curvature because it's a bit like a uh, princess seam almost but it doesn't go all the way up because you have a yoke above it and then we have the back of which I've got two cuts for this let me just pull them out I have if I can get hold of it the first one which is what I call alternative one which is actually sort of like the original but I, I did do a little bit of a change on this back seam because this center back sorry side back and the center back has this sort of flare out on that back piece I suppose instead of having a dart they've got this styling but I didn't like how much that flared out so I changed it and um, reduced the flare on that bit so this is my alternative two as it were so I changed the back very slightly not very too much but just enough to um, make it sit a bit better across the back um, once it comes off the waist and over over your bum I suppose as it were um, it just seems to sit a bit better as I brought it in because my body shape just seemed to fit better with that other than them which is like your front and front side back and back side pieces um, you've got a collar um, you've also got two yokes you've got a back yoke cut on the um, on the fold and the front yoke which you do two of because this is part of the facing piece that you sort of 
curl up as it were to make the bottom plaque at the runs all the way down which I will have to be very careful of when it comes to the shirt dress because it's going to be all the way down buttoned up throughout. The only other items I've got from the original pattern is one a short sleeve and then I did also create a bunch of pieces for a long sleeve. Now this long sleeve is actually from a completely different pattern because I'd basically worked out a sleeve pattern that works for my arm. It's for my length with a good cuff that works for me so it comes to just how I want. So this this sleeve pattern pieces are actually very specific to fitting me now so the only thing I would have to do really if I were using this sleeve pattern is to maybe change the head um, depending on how it's got to fit in but other than that pretty much it's um, it's my universal sleeve for for fitting me um, so yeah it's great to have a, a, an item that I can amend that I can then use with other patterns but that's my original pattern that's how it was originally set out and that I did in a size 14 um, because it just seemed to be okay it seemed to fit that way it is quite a snug fit it is close fitting a size 14 but it seemed just fine but now when I want to do the shirt dress I'm thinking I want a little bit more room in it because it has to flow from um, from off of this without it being too close so yeah some considerations were do I need to go up a size and how am I going to make the skirt piece that goes on from that so yeah some considerations so let's have a look at that and see what I was thinking. So I'll start by explaining the actual skirt section um, because uh, well without a skirt section there's no shirt dress really but it it came about from that that I then wanted to make the actual shirt dress. Now this one as well with the shirt dress um, basically I've attached a skirt section onto it um, and put pleats in. This one's plain on the back because I put darts in but the idea of having a pleated skirt is what I wanted to carry through to this shirt dress so what I did is effectively sort of copied what I'd done here which is basically to have four pieces right effectively where well, it's more than four it's got four pattern pieces but the way that they form is that I have this section which is my front piece here and then I have my front side section which you can see has got some shaping on it but these two go together and then the pleat gets formed in there and will form that first panel the whole panel on the front obviously I'll do that twice for left and right and then the back section because I want to have a pleat in there as well it's effectively the same thing only this time because I don't have to worry about the buttons up the front the back piece is cut on the fold so it's a fit pretty much one piece across the back that fold out and then with a back side piece and like the front these two come together and then they will be folded up to form the actual um, pleat in there and again it's shaping so it, it goes off to one side and I've actually got pockets for this so I will be putting pockets in um, I need to redraw those pockets a little bit but effectively you can see where I'm come from um, two pieces on the front um, so that's four pieces in total for left and right left right yeah never mind and then one piece for the center back and two pieces on either side that form that skirt section the only thing now to look at will be how they will attach to the top section because well the first time I did it I actually did a mock-up um, before I made it the, the first time and that mock-up first trial was well mm, less than desirable really it was just a very big sack really main reason for that is what I did is I took the shirt as it was and just attached that skirt section to the bottom of it and it didn't sit right at all so um, I had to rework it but at least it gave me a starting point but I'll put that picture in you can see how bad it looked now I'm just going to quickly try and go over the top section 
Now, my original pattern from the original shirt, this is the, um, the front sides piece, that, um, as you can see, it's got a certain amount of length in it, and when it's on, actually comes down to, um, basically, pretty much this comes on to the sort of, almost the hip line, but not quite. Um, so it's, it's a certain length in there. Now, when I attached that skirt piece onto there, as you saw, those skirt pieces aren't short. Um, it just didn't sit right because it was coming off from this point, which is just above the hip, really. And that wasn't the right place because it was already starting to shape out. And with that center section, you could, you've got the front piece there that's quite wide. So it didn't seem to sit right at all. So I realized that actually I need to take the skirt piece off from a lot higher up. Now, I redrew it. Um, and I also went up a size, so this is a size 16. And of course, you've got to have the yoke above this section here, at the top. There's got to be a yoke there. Um, and then this here actually sits much closer to my actual natural waist now, rather than all the way down here. Just try and get these two together. So you can see there's a lot more length in the original, but taking it up, I've taken it up quite a way, so that's a long way to come up. Um, and as I say, there is a uh, motorbike going by. There you go. There is a yoke um, that comes up on the top here, but then the skirt comes off from here, so it comes off from almost the waist. So I've lost a lot of actual uh, uh, length on that. Does that motorbike know where he's going? It's going round in circles. On we go. So, yeah, I've extended it by quite a bit. Sorry, shortened it by quite a bit. Extended it, I don't want to extend it. So now it's gonna be a lot shorter. So when this comes off from there, hopefully it'll, it'll work better. The other thing as well is that this point up to here, let me grab that front get rid of that. We have this section which is my front and this is where all the folding goes on to actually make the button plackets section and this fixes onto that side. The pleat, the first pleat should match up with this here, with this with this join here where it where the seam will be. I want the seam for that pleat to run off onto the pleat so it matches and the same on the back where the back two match up so that was another task that I had to do to make sure that the skirt sections across matched up so that that point would be where the initial seam comes off for the pleat and then then it'll all match up hopefully and it did when I first done it so um, having done that first one I felt confident that, yeah, this is right, this, this works. So I haven't messed with it since I did that uh, initial make. But that was my, my thought pattern behind it, was to make it so it had to, had to fit and match up. And of course, the other thing I had to be aware of is that this is the button placket, so that has to run all the way down the front skirt, which um, it has to, so I can button it all up, and it has to run straight. Uh, but yeah, that seemed to work. Um, and as you can see, that's a nice shorter um, top section. That works much better. So the only things I've got left really to say about is the yokes and sleeve. Sleeves, sorry, I'm not putting one sleeve on. Um, they actually don't change from the actual original pattern. They do stay the same. Um, back yoke, front yoke, um, only in size 16 this time. Um, standard collar, it's more like a collar stand. You can put a bigger collar on like this on the pattern, but I, I quite liked having this, um, this sort of like little collar on there um, as I put on the original one when I did it. And a short sleeve. So that's what's gonna go on there. Um, now this sleeve, I know that the sleeve head from that pattern is a little large, but what will happen is I will gather it in, so it'll sort of, it's not won't be a big poof, it'll just be a little bit, but it'll just 
gather it up a bit more rather than straight off the shoulder like this one is. And the only other thing to add to it is, well, a pocket. Now it's a slightly odd shaped one because I'm intending to attach this up near where the waist uh, is going to be, where the skirt will fix on. And I've done it like that so I can get another couple of anchor points near the top of it just to give it a little bit more hold than than the pocket might do. I might have to redraw this pocket because it's straight down there and it actually needs to come off at an angle. So I might redraw it just a little bit just to make sure it sits properly when it gets sewn into the actual um, side of the skirt section. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole pattern. So I suppose really the best thing to do is to actually get on and make it. And I can sort of explain what I'm doing as I'm going along. And you can see it hopefully developing without there being any real issue. I certainly hope not, so um, yeah, better get on with it. So I've got all my pieces cut out now. Everything's ready to go, as it were. You know, everything's in a big pile. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to decide what order I'm going to um, start with putting this uh, big pile of pieces together. Now, in the pattern, it's um, basically the same as this for the top section. So I've got a, an order that I can work with. So I'm going to start with uh, the top section and I've got a, a basically a front and a side front here and here and then a yoke piece. So I've got that twice, left and right. And then on the back, I've got a back piece, a side back and then the yoke. So that's four pieces for the back. So two fronts and a back. And then that's where I think I better start because that's going to be the easiest to work with. And then I'll get to the skirt once I've dealt with that. Um, yeah, tops to start with. So I've completed the top sections. I've got the back as the back piece. So that's four pieces, um, back, center, two sides and the yoke. And then I've got my two front pieces, um, obviously mirror each other, um, which is two uh, front, side front and the yoke twice, left and right, brilliant. Come out lovely come together quite nicely. What I've done is um, I've French seamed that seam there, which is the two side panel, the two panels that go side by side. And then the yoke, what I've done there is to um, flat fell that seam on there. That gives a really nice finish on the front. I think it does anyway. Now, the thing about this one is that normally on the on just the shirt part um, I'd look to actually do the button placket piece and fold that over but because this has got to attach to the skirt section yet that is going to be done later once it's come together with that part so basically the top panels are now completed so I've got my top pieces but before I can move on with them now I've actually got to do the bottom the skirt section 
So next up is the skirt sections. I need to get these panels together. Now the um, skirt section is a bit like the top section as in it comes in panels. The front is front center and side. So skirt front, side front. And these have got to come together and the amount of material here is because that's where the pleat's going to be formed with this section so that'll get concertinaed in as it were to form that pleat on the front and it's the same on the back um, again I've got a centre back piece and a side panel so I have two side panels with that centre back piece that's three pieces for the back and two pieces for each side section um, so I'll be able to get these together before I can actually attach them to the top section. So yeah, better get on with it um, and see how quickly I can get these formed. Because when I'm doing these, not only have I got to stitch them together, I've also got to form that pleat as well. So it's the right width to be able to fit onto, uh, onto this top section. So I've got my um, skirt panels together. I've got the uh, back section which is now one very big piece like that with the two joins and I've got the two front pieces I have got two here honestly there we go um, with um, the join there so what I've got to do now is to effectively make the pleat in the front here where these joins are that's where the pleat's going to start from and it's going to be the same with all the pieces where the pleat is so where I create where the join is sorry is where I create the pleat from that's my first part so um, I'll just go over that with you so you can see what it is that I'm actually doing right so this is the uh, one of the front panels and even though it's not so easy to see there is the join here um, to show it from the back there and that joins my two pieces I did it in two pieces because the width of this means it would have been very hard to actually get it out of uh, one piece of material um, trying to make that fit on there so <clears throat> splitting it into two made it a bit easier so what I'm going to do to create the pleat is I'm actually going to with where the join is that's going to be the first fold for my pleat and then I'm going to bring this one this side back I will use my um, pattern piece to determine the depth of it and then effectively I've got to do the same on this side bring it across and then take it back to create that pleat um, like I say what I'll do is I'll measure my pattern piece that I've got so I can actually work out how deep this bit needs to be and then what I'll do is I'll just tack it at the top here to hold it in place um, before this whole section then gets attached to uh, the top section so I've got four pleats to do um, in pretty much the same way they're all using this same method to try and get hopefully nice even pleats so I've now got the pleats actually sewn in I've got them in on the back there's the two front pieces with them in and my um, the back piece this makes it all nice and neat looks very lovely um, I know this material is so busy it's hard to see isn't it really what I've done is I've tacked in at the top of each um, pleat to hold it in place um, and I've just pinned it on the bottom just to hold it in place there uh, makes it easier to deal with so yeah that's come out quite nice now next step is to actually attach the bottom skirt sections to the appropriate top section so um, yeah that's next to uh, get my full length of the actual shirt dress now I've jumped on just a little bit um, I've attached the skirt sections as you can see it's gonna be quite long now to the tops um, and then the other thing I had to do was the button placket which I couldn't do until I'd attached the front section um, top to the skirt because obviously it's going to be buttoned up the whole way down so that's now on there that took quite a while actually because it's quite a long um, placket seam it's just one of those ones where you turn it over once and then turn it over again inside itself um, 
a little bit of detail on the top there just to if that will show up just to square it off but that seems to come out all right and then I've just uh, um, put the front the two fronts to the back at the shoulder seam so there we go that's starting to come together isn't it start to come along actually got something that um, resembles a shirt dress so yeah looking quite good next step I'll do is actually to put the pockets on start with the pockets put them on and then I'll do the sleeves and then it'll be stitch up the sides so yeah get pockets on get those sleeve heads in because they'll take a while sleeve heads always do always take me a little bit of time to get done but hopefully um, not too long and then um, once the sides are done up we are at least well I'm at least two-thirds of the way through it but um, let's see how I get on hey now I just want to quickly mention about my pockets um, just a quick note on them I've just put them in um, and a couple of things that I wanted to note about them is they sit up against this seam line where the skirt match it, uh, meets the, um, the bodice section what I've done is I put them in I've also just um, done the uh, zigzag stitching just on that bit because once the pocket's actually in that part of the seam is actually really hard to get to so I always try and do that beforehand and then the other thing is is that if I do it on this bit once this pocket is sewn in and all stitched in done the the edge there along there then I can turn this in and the pocket will be the correct way through and it sits right up on this bit of seam here this is the seam between the skirt and the um, and the bodice put section and the reason for doing it like that with this little bit of a step in there is that I can then stitch up the top bit I can stitch that onto the actual seam um, where I've, I've where the skirt and top have met each other that way it gives it a bit more of an anchor at that point it's not just here on the edge and that's why I've done it like that so it sits quite up high now it might seem like it is high but actually this sizing it, when I put it on when the one I did first of all and tried it um, is actually really just right it sits just in the right place for me to have uh, have a pocket so I'm really hopeful it'll turn out nice and as you can see it's looking really really funky again <laughs> this is really coming out um, very funky looking isn't it wild and, and very um, in your face I suppose well my shirt dress is almost done um, I've pretty much done everything to it that I need to since last time I, I put the um, shoulder seams together but now I've put the sides together I've even done the hemming on the uh, on the sleeves and on the bottom um, and that just leaves me with the the collar and the buttons to do and um, I've left the collar till pretty much last because well I dislike doing collars I just cannot get them to work properly so I always hand sew them on I know that might seem like a long sort of long-winded way of doing it but the amount of time that I actually spend at the sewing machine um, fiddling around having to unpick and then redo it um, I just find that I'm probably just as quick to hand sew it so yeah hand sew the collar on and do buttons um, haven't decided on what buttons I'm going to put on there but I do need to do buttons so that'll be the next task for today and hopefully it won't be long before it's all done and here we finally are I've managed to get it all finished and all sewn up um, with pleats on the front um, uh, excuse the uh, recorder just have to put it somewhere um, but yeah pockets both sides um, and yeah sits really nicely um, as I said the before when I was talking about the pockets um, it's uh, I thought about how far down they are but because where this sits that effectively the join there is just below my waistline it's only about an inch below it my natural waist so that pocket is in exactly the right place for me so that sits in real nicely just there pleats on the back as well and it sits really nice across the uh, across the shoulders um, nice little collar um, I like having this little collar I've some I prefer now with this as well um, on the buttons I'll just come a little bit closer actually 
But what I've done is I found these sort of lightish grey ones that does match the uh, one of the monsters here. And what I've done is I've got a slightly darker one as well. Um, and I've got two of those, one here and one here, um, as a sort of accent button, I suppose you could call it. I know it's quite busy, isn't it, this? Uh, so it's a bit hard to see stuff. Um, but yeah, it's come together really nicely, sits really well. Hopefully I've got this seam line where it then meets the uh, um, the pleat. So that seems to have gone quite well. And I've got it all sort of together quite well. I certainly hope I've got it together quite well. It seems to be, um, sits really nicely on me and feels really, really comfortable. I've got the sizing just right when I uh, um, worked out the, the sizing for this pattern. So yeah, all in all, a really, really nice make. Now, some of you out there might be thinking, did I pattern match this? No, no, I didn't. No, not at all. Not even on the slightest thought about pattern matching because this is so busy and so hard to sort of look at how to get it together. I just didn't want to go down that route of trying to match this all up because I think it would have been rather a nightmare to do. So I didn't, but because of the busyness of the actual material, it's not really noticeable. And if anything, I think that sort of funky sort of monster sort of mash sort of... Um, uh, uh, pattern that's on here um, actually makes it uh, much better, makes it look really nice and sort of that gives that more of that funkiness because it's just so, it is bright isn't it? It's bright and it's bold I suppose so yeah I really like this, it's really come out really really nice and uh, it's a, a lovely shirt dress so um, yeah all that work of creating a shirt dress from a shirt pattern I think has worked out really really well. So there you have it, my uh, new shirt dress. And yeah, it's really nice. I think it's one of my better makes, I suppose. As I'm making more clothes and making more items, I'm finding certain tasks easier to get done and I'm, I'm getting more, I suppose, more experience. So certain things just seem to come out better. So this one has come out really, really nice. Um, fits really lovely. I've got a lovely flow, I think, on, on the skirt section, um, which of course I had to make up myself because it's um, a, a sort of a makeup from another pattern, that original pattern being the New Look 6941, which is a shirt um, pattern. Um, they also refer to it as a as a jacket or a blouse, I think. So, um, but that was original um, inspiration. And as you see, it's completely transformed into this monster shirt dress um, and yeah it is really really comfortable one of the things I just wanted to show you from the original um, material is it has got it on here about this being um, it says on here um, Daisy Daisy I can't read it properly for somebody by Poppy I can't quite read that uh, and then it says Europe, 100% cotton, um, Ocotex, um, organic certified. So, now, so that is the material. I'd put a link into it where I got it from, but um, where I got it from, they had it on the clearance sale. Um, so I don't know if it's available. I mean, it might still be about some place where you might be able to get this, um, but I think you'd probably have to have a search around to find it. Um, but I, where I got it from, they haven't got any left anymore. So I don't know if you could get any more, but you know, I know I've got plenty because I've got some more because I bought a load of it in the clearance sale. So yeah, fantastic shirt dress. Um, and I'm really, uh, really pleased with, um, with how it's come out. So if you like this video, please do give it a like, uh, subscribe, that way you always get a notification when I'm bringing out my videos, and comment please, um, if you'd like to. That way I can see what you think, and if you want to comment between yourselves, uh, um, just have a discussion between yourself as well. That's always great to read and to see what you're, what you're doing and what you're thinking and what you're talking about, as it were. So it's just left for me to say, thank you very much for watching my video, and look forward to seeing my next video. Bye. Happy